was that tagline for Red Rose Tea again? Ah yes, only in Canada you say, pity. I was thinking about that ancient tagline not in regard to a cup of orange pico, but rather due to the political and media shite storm that erupted thanks to Ontario Premier Doug Ford simply using a word that virtually everybody in the world was using, namely referring to Zeben Kong, a man who hacked his roommate to pieces with a meat cleaver, as being crazy. And even crazier was the fact that Kong was able to freely waltz out of the mental institution where he was supposedly confined. Hey, wouldn't want to hurt his feelings by actually locking him up or insisting he wear an ankle bracelet after all, right? And even more crazy was the fact that Kong was somehow able to get on an international flight back to China, given that this homicidal maniac still had possession of his passport. And even more crazy still is that, as per usual, nobody responsible for this affront to public safety will be disciplined. Well, except perhaps for Premier Ford for using inappropriate language. Here's the audio from the Jerry Agar show on CFRB in which Ford said those horrifically insensitive remarks. Well, I, I'm disgusted with it. I, I, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. They, they say this guy's low risk and he, he chopped up his roommate with a meat cleaver? Like, what are people thinking? You know, between the TPS, the Ontario Review Board, and KMH, someone's going to be answering. Because you can't, if they're calling this low risk, what is high risk? What is the family thinking of, of the poor victim that got chopped up with a meat cleaver by this nutcase, and then they let him loose out, out on the streets? How did he get a passport to go to China? Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. This Who, is what we have to change, Jerry, uh, right across the board, making sure that these crazy, crazy people uh, that want to go around chopping people up, they're out on the street. He also called Kong a nutcase. You know, call me a nutcase, but I think nutcase is an apt descriptor to employ when referring to someone who uses a meat cleaver on another human being as opposed to, say, a shank of lamb. But this is 2019, and apparently we can't call a crazy man crazy anymore. Well, not when the mic is hot and the camera is rolling. You want to know what the dictionary definition of crazy is? Here goes, quote, mentally deranged, especially as manifested in a wild or aggressive way, end quote. You know, me thinks that's the perfect descriptor for Zeben Kong, and it's the descriptor being used by everybody as they discuss this sordid story, including those sanctimonious stenographers in the media party who are condemning the Premier for what? For getting emotional and outraged over something that is indeed outrageous? Truth be told, Ford's frankness is a breath of fresh air from the usual tone-deaf idiots who typically weigh in on such matters by employing a rapid-fire litany of $3 words. And you know something? If crazy happens to be a stigmatizing term for a murderer, then good. You're supposed to be stigmatized if you carry out murder, and Kong killed somebody in the most brutal fashion imaginable. Or are we at a point now in which we can't condemn a person for committing a crime that should have resulted in a life sentence at the very least? Well, if that's the case, then put me in a straitjacket and book me a prolonged stay in the rubber room. Crazy town, here I come. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, if you liked that video, please like and subscribe and never miss another Rebel video.